How much will it cost to fix my furnace? How much are you behind on your electric or gas bill? The furnace is not failing to work because it does not have power or gas. The hot water heater works. That does not mean it doesn't work because you didn't flip the circuit breaker, or need to pay a couple dollars for a new fuse to the furnace. There are plenty of blinking lights on the control board. It is free to turn it off and back on to try to reset the control board. I do not think it is the control board. You should hope that it is not the control board that's the problem, because that costs a third the cost of the furnace to replace. You're basically telling me to reboot the control board. If turning it off and on at the control panel doesn't work, you can try doing so at the breaker. That's just a really hard reboot. The furnace may be cycling because the flame sensor is dirty or broken. Cleaning it just takes elbow grease, while replacing it is 10 to $20 plus gas to go to the store. If I had a gas furnace, I'd note check the location of the thermocouple, and if that's not dirty or too far, pay a hundred or so to fix it. But my furnace is electric. All furnaces can shut down when they don't get enough airflow. I pay for maintenance, which should include new air filters. You can still rinse the air filters for free, or put new air filters in for less than a hundred dollars. That's only the solution if they were obviously dirty, and they are not. Your furnace has an air intake. If the air intake is clogged, you can clean that out, and you may need a $10 piece of mesh to keep leaves from getting sucked in. That was actually a common problem with drain furnaces. Now if the leaves have piled up in there and caught fire, leaving a lot of ash around the burner that causes the thing to overheat, you better hope it is fixed by cleaning it out. I understand that carbon residue can cause it to overheat. If you had a gas furnace, too much moisture in there causes it to burn in completely, shutting down because of carbon monoxide levels. In an electric one, it should shut down if it overheats if something shorts out or burns. A burned out motor could cost a couple hundred to replace. Burned out elements and electrical components are similar in price when you factor in labor. I hate how even parts replaced under warranty require you to pay labor. There's always the change out the gas cap solution, paying a couple thousand for a new furnace, 